this was the final round of the Ping Pong Championships in Ottawa, Canada. I was trying close to follow the ball for a second. Close pin man was close to defeat. His opponent had 20 points. He had only 18. It was a matter of two balls. And those balls were between his legs. Balls of steel, closed in man. The new documentary from HBO. Oh! Oh! He's just too good. Clothespin no. Man is just too good. He defeated the evil yellow fatty. No, no. From this angle, you look like Nate Kane three years ago. <laughs> Clothespin Man, aren't you going to console him? Consolation is for losers. Have you no mercy? I have no mercy. Meanwhile, his arch enemy, Obiso, was sitting in his evil lair. But Clothespin Man grew stronger as he worked on his strength till he was capable of 400 pounds of pressure on a single clothespin. But Obiso did not stop either. He worked day and night to gain strength. I will defeat you, Clothespin Man. Clothespin man fought local city crowd, including Broom Man, the bringer of darkness. <gasps> you will go down, Clothespin Man! Except for Professor Assenbledge. So, close pin man will to see Professor Assenbledge to ask, ask him questions. questions. I must know where I have come from. Oh, you know where you come from? I think I know the answer. You must look into my ball. It has only the answers to the world inside of you. Yes, you must look. Come closer. Yes, my son. Very good. You see the answer. I do. Yes, but that is not all. I must tell you something else. But oh my God! What's that? Oh, it is a whistle. Yes, come Clothespin Man was taken captive by Obiso and his henchmen. Obiso consumed him and put him inside of his belly till he grew to such large size that we cannot show it on this screen. For his stomach was the size of And he wandered off. And so, Clothespin Man struggled inside of Obiso's stomach, delirious and tired from exertion. The ghost of Professor Asenbleach came to him. Clothespin Man, you must remember, 
I have the answer. You are not a human. You were born to a goat. You are a goat. You must fight your way out of Obiso to save yourself. For the ghost of Professor Arsenglitch will be gone forever. Goodbye. Forever. So, Clothespin Man struggled. <coughs> As long as Obiso had a sense of smell, he was undefeated. There was only one thing Clothespin Man could do to stop his sense of smell. <laughs> and so Obiso went to sleep forever. And Clothespin Man was happy with his life. Good night. And so, the epic story of Klaus Pinman came to a close. <laughs> uh, that, uh, Obiso was forever sedated and left to consume his own fat for centuries. And uh, Professor Aschenblichen, he moved on to the other world. And as for Klaus Pinman, well, he continues to fight crime this day. And if you ever look out at your clothes and you notice that they have fallen to the ground because the clothespin is missing, you might think maybe clothespin man has added it to his shirt. And maybe he will use it to pinch the nose of another enemy of the people. I rest my case. We would like to thank the people who made this video possible. We have the bear, who is also known as the Shush who played Obiso. Hello. This is Liam, who is also known as Professor Dan, who was amazing performance as Clothespin Man. And of course myself, I played the director, and the narrator, and the Professor Asenblichen. And the, the dude who got defeated with the broom. Oh yes, I also played a broom man. But, <clears throat> remember. We'd also think to thank Ringo. We'd li like to thank Ringo and Paul McCartney and, and John Lennon and George. Uh, all of them. They are all great people. Yeah.